last class we discussed about theoretical information, but it's very, very important information. And if you don't have good knowledge and on that understanding, then you cannot work in BA projects. You want to see that each and every session is very, very important. Don't absent, don't take it light. Don't try to work on practical from the beginning day by watching YouTube videos or other videos. If your subject was zero or theoretical is zero, conceptually zero, then ultimately you are zero. I will type here Power BI comma data modeling. Just see two or three opportunities on this. See the word very good understanding of data modeling techniques for analytical data such as facts dimensions measures that's what we discussed yesterday correct so is it important absolutely important now second opportunity you look at this should have Experience in data modeling and Power BI. Should understand data warehousing concepts. Should understand facts and dimension. Should be able to create complex measuring products. So is it required? Yes. Now you guys tell me what you've studied. What is dimension and how do you conclude it? What is dimension? First of all, why we require dimension or fact or something? Why such kind of technology we are using? Please store the data. Why we are using such kind of technology? One simple example, this is one building, same sizing, one more building available. Size same. Building one. Building two, same size. Kindly look at this. And this is a question asked to one of my friends when I when we both attended an interview. The manager asked, and he failed in that manager round. First two technical rounds he cleared, but manager round failed. Manager asked only simple question. I have two buildings of same size, but technically he asked two databases. This is one database. This is one database. Two databases of same size. Two databases. Tell me which one is residential database, which one is warehouse database. Or you can say analytical database. That's what is question. Two database, same size. Then which one is residential and which one is analytical? Uh, I think um, maybe okay. ignore, about, available... ignore about this. There are two buildings. Okay. You need to identify which one is residential house, which one is got on. <laughs> residential house and which one is got on. How do you identify? Uh, where there is all facilities to stay. I mean, in the residential area, there are facilities like all kinds of facilities in the godown. Sudan by ton chokya la onda. But what the godown ondi, what the residential house ondi. How do you differentiate based on the internal structure, based on the uh, internal structure? If more windows, more windows, more rooms more utilities definitely it is house coming to technical side more tables 
more and small size tables small size tables beds yeah this is called as normalized model technical size and coming to data warehouse or go down go down level less rooms you find not many partitions but the thing is big size of rooms and coming to technical side less tables you find in the warehouse but more size tables and this is called denormalized model so normalized model denormalized model two types of models so based on the internal model only we always say yes this is residential this is got all this is got not based on any other all of you okay good so to construct this we need to follow such kind of terminology the terminology is dimension fact in the warehousing projects only we use dimension fact you can say analytical projects then what is dimension textual attribute which will not support aggregate operations what is fact measurable attribute which support aggregate operations what is dimension table set of textual column table is dimension table set of measurable table is fact table fact table and fact table contain how many sections two sections one is foreign keys to dimension second one measures foreign keys to dimension second one measures two things and how dimension facts are connected fact table surrounded by dimensions star schema fact table surrounded by dimensions dimensions contain hierarchies snowflake schema and multiple fact tables using common dimensions like this that is called galaxy schema what type of schema galaxy let me open the same material kindly look around 15 people had conversation with me one or two students uh as of now i'm working on project yesterday discussion with all knowledge you gave me sir it's helping me a lot if i get stuck i will reach out to you okay thanks sir yesterday i got one more offer from his gs he is a bsc graduate he got offer on power bi and sql server already joined and one more offer he got it they do sell trade thank you so much for teach that's okay i will give you complete in and out learn properly later whatever you want to do it now one more 7 am feb on and look at this guy he place couple of interview questions here i ask him are you able to see any questions out of your material at class he said hi sir i could not see any questions out of our classroom or material i am able to clear all the interviews in the group in fact uh, with confidence i rejected amazon offer with 16.5 lakhs package thanks for your preparation so market is good people are getting opportunities you just focus on that statement ignore about or remaining on the set if people say calls less, calls are less for power bi or blah 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 completely wrong if the resume is wrong or they are meeting wrong people they will tell you like that power bi is very powerful having very good market people are getting jobs only on power bi sql server yes you guys also go in case you are financially okay and you want to add on something learn msba one component or azure one component and add on nothing wrong in that and with the combination you may get some more opportunities you may get some more opportunities but try to be perfect with complete in and out of power bi not just learning 
high level few concepts so dimension dimension table fact fact table relationships i mentioned you want to read one second read it now what is today's topic today's topic using our venetech business excel for transformation operations what is the area we do the transformations power query area let me start guys where is our excel this is a excel It's taking time to open. Okay, it is taking time to open. Let me go to Power BI Desktop. Directly, you can click on get data. Click Excel workbook, click connect. I'll go to this batches, 10 a.m. This is an Excel sheet, click open. Browse to the business Excel, point one. Second, choose the tables. This is my course table having courses data. This is my mode table having course mode data. This is my date table having date data, geography, geography data, institute data, location data, student data, users data. Finally, one fact table where we have complete business information of all the dimensions. Fact table. Click load. And if you see beside load, one option is there. What is the option? Transform. You notice it, right? Beside load. And also observe when I click load, what is happening? I blocked it actually, but there are two operations yeah. Microsoft yeah. will do automatically. Let it close. This is an interview question, and knowledge wise also important. It open now. What are the basic operations does Power BI perform while loading? What are the operations? A automatic transformations B automatic modeling automatic transformations automatic modeling it performs not complete within the brace i will write here possible possible operations possible modeling possible transformations, possible modeling, it provides support. Next, 
Okay, we got the data. Let me save the application file menu. Save. I will save under 10 EMA when I take Power BI extract and then transform data. Click save. What is the extension of the file? PBIX dot PBIX. Wonderful. Next part. What to do next? Once we get the data. So we got the data. What do you call this mode? This is having structure and data. We call it as import mode. Even you're not able to see anything here. So by default, it will take import mode. Which mode? Import oh, mode. Okay. Guys, this is a data view. Click data view. Course, course table data. Course mode, course mode table data. Course table is good. Column by column data. Course mode table. Not proper. No heading. No heading. Date table. Okay. Geography table. No proper heading. Institute table. Yes. Location table. No proper heading. Student table. No proper heading. Users table. No. Yes. Proper heading. Fact table. Proper heading. Some columns. So some tables not having proper heading. So your first responsibility is this. Let me write. What is the first responsibility? After load. What is the responsibility? Ensure proper column headings and column by column data. So you need to ensure always proper column headings and column by column data. So what if not available? We go for transformations. When do we go for transformations? Yeah, no proper column headings. B, need to add few columns with business logics. C, aggregate table creation. D, sorting. E, pivoting. Etc. These operations you want to perform, we go for a mechanism called transformations. Which mechanism? Transformation is a mechanism we take. Are you clear? Right. How do we go? How do we go? And where do we go? How do we go? Yeah. Home menu, under home menu only. Home menu. <coughs> transform area first way b while loading also while loading transform two ways we can go what is the area we go we go to power query area let me go so your column headings are not proper or you want aggregate table, you want to sort the data, you want to group the data, different operations you want to perform. You want to add some more columns. Take fact table. You have actual fee, discount fee, something, but discount fee increment you want to give. Or actual fee minus discount fee you want to do. Actual fee minus discount fee. How do you do that? In all these situations, only one thing, power query. You go to home menu. Click on it, transform data. It is going to a separate window, power query window.
got this here we do that what we do that let me explain some points power query features first one a extract and transform area it can extract and transform both next b maximum operations you can say functionalities graphical maximum operations graphical c in case existing functionalities are transforms not sufficient then we need to write our own code own code majorly what is the language support mashup minorly our language python language etc last point for each query system generates a mashup script what exactly system generate mashup script which has content from source reading onwards source reading onwards it has content All the points are clear. Right next next one e next step is e there are eight places where we have transforms or functionalities this is important first one queries second one query third one field fourth one multi field fifth one filter sixth one menu seventh one steps eighth one custom query these are eight places we have functionalities eight places Shall we look into this? What exactly Power Query will do? Extraction transformation. Maximum operations, graphical. In case existing functionalities or transformations not sufficient, then we need to write our own code. Majorly mashup or minorly R, Python. For every query, it will generate a mashup script. There are eight places we do it. Go to this. There's a Power Query area. Power Query. And you can extract and transform. I told you the first point. This is extraction. These are all the transformation operations. You can extract it again. 
you can transform it. First point clear. Second point graphical operations. Yes, these are all the graphical operations. And what you take splitting column group by go to this, even right click this graphical operations. In case those are not sufficient, you can write your own code in the R language, Python language, etc. Next one for each query, it will generate a script. Take a query. You are not taking the hit, but it will generate a script. Right click, right click is the greatest mantra. What is this? Advanced data. So system will show you the script. This is coding. Course, advanced data, scripting. Course, the same graphical. So this is a graphical view for our ease of operations. Because you also joined the course because of its graphical facility, right? So this is the one. It does not mean it has only graphical. It also gives you coding. In case you want to go through the coding, go through the coding. This is a mashup script. Which script? Always starts with let. First one source. From which source you got the data? Comma. Next one, sheet. Which sheet reading the data? Comma. Next step, headers not proper. It is promoting it proper. Comma. Data types it not proper. It is taking data types. Finally, in the last step, it will take. In and last step. In and last step. Let multiple steps in this. Sir, I did not perform any operation, any transformation. How system is taking? For this only, I told you one question first. Microsoft will do possible transformations, possible modeling. So these are the transformations automatically it performs. Automatically performs. So whatever it is able to do based on the scientist algorithm, it will do it. If it is not able to do, then we need to do it. Or if customized it required, anyway, it cannot guess what we require. So we need to do it. We need to do it. So Microsoft maximum load chase it up to the even a critical laser and good chase us to still kadu nothing goes very kawali. Yet the character card, what is a good character card and what a manager is called. Okay, now right. Sir. But this is scripting view, the same coding view, sorry, graphical view. The source step graphically here. The navigation step graphically here. The promoted header step graphically here. The change type graphically here. Shall I? So why I explain this? Let me take the description here. So here you can say step or transform both are same. All indicate same meaning. So 
So starts with let and ends with in. One step separate, another with comma. In followed by last step. Each step followed by previous step plus operation. Note step or operation transform. Step equal to operation. <laughs> operation equal to transform here. Shall I? Good. Now the next concept. Next question. How many ways we add or modify or remove steps or transforms? Do you know how many ways? Two ways. Yeah. Graphical. Query settings, very important one. Query settings. So view menu, query settings, steps, right click, insert, step after. P, coding. Advanced data, script change. Two ways we can add or remove steps. Let me go to this. For example, you closed it. You want to add a step, first way, right click. Advanced data. You want to remove it, you can remove it. You want to add a step, enter, add a step, coding way. But for this, you need to learn mashup language. Language in detail, you need to learn. As we are not interested for learning, we go for graphical, view menu, query settings, this. Right click in case you want to add step, insert step after. Or you want to cancel any step, for example, the step you want to cancel, cancel this. Cancel this. How to cancel the steps or transformations? One is advanced data, change it. Second one, graphical, change it. Getting clearly? So, what exactly mashup for Power Query will do? How do we change the steps? How do you modify the steps? I explain practically. Now, next topic. It has full of graphical operations, I told you already. Full of graphical operations. Then what are the different graphical operations available? You can say transformations. This is a queries area. First area, we have transformations. This is individual query because course is highlighted. Course query in this corner. Query properties, query transformations available. When you highlight a single column, here transformations are different. When you highlight multiple columns, here transformations are different. When you highlight a filter column, transformations are different. When you highlight a menu options, transformations are different. When you highlight custom coding, transformations are different. When you highlight steps, transformations are different. Multiple places and multiple transformations. Are you okay? How many places we do? Eight places. Sir, how do you identify which operation we need to do? For example, a column level, column moving you want, column level operation you want, column properties. A table level, rows filtering you want, table properties. At two or three tables at a time you want to operate. Then go to queries properties. Two or three columns at a time you want to operate, multi-column properties. Multi column, a particular operation only, a particular transform only you want to change. Transformation properties. So, based on the operation or based on the objective, we will go for the respective properties. So, after completing this topic, you will come to know very clearly. Don't worry. Right, sir. So, eight places I told you queries, query, field, multi field, filter, menu, steps, custom coding. Now, I go to 
queries properties first of all. So what it deals with? It deals with queries only. No way related to rows or columns. This concept no way related to rows or columns. Then what are the transformations available? Properties. Query copy, query duplicate, query paste, query reference. and query refresh refreshing data query enabling query scripting query properties something like this available these are options available query properties let me show you right click see the properties what is the first one copy right click next one this is enabled now paste copy and paste so what exactly happened if you go to dim course how many steps available two do one thing i want to remove this right click delete delete also cover I'll go to fact table, right click, copy, right click, paste. Look at fact table, how many steps available? And go to this one, how many available? Four, no change. But how many steps process here? One is copy, second one, paste. See this, this thin line indicate this is one category this is another category this is one more 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 category this is a classification copy paste available here this is one operation this is another operation two operations exact the source copy it will create If you do some changes here, no impact to this. No, because both are independent. Both are independent. This is Microsoft legacy terminology. Legacy terminology. Regularly used. Even if you, uh, when you work in the projects, if you speak to the people who are interested for coding, who are interested for coding, when you tell them, I'm working with Power BI or MSBA or .NET, etc. They immediately tell you, oh, oh you're working with copy-paste applications. So Microsoft applications are copy-paste applications in the market. Even the copy-paste, maximum places you find in Power BI, not one, two places. Even MSBA, Azure BI, copy-paste, common. Legacy, friendly options. If you want to create copies to work on it. But mashup level, copy-paste not available both combinedly one terminology available duplicate see the image or icon copy icon this icon same so duplicate is a single step to perform both but it will create independent copy what it creates independent copy independent copy what is reference it will create a dependent copy what type of copy independent copy from this a dependent copy you want then go to reference so what will happen i will tell you interview knowledge wise very important copy and paste two different operations creates independent copy from so source changes it source changes pasted object or duplicate object one take this 
this is about copy paste two different operations creates independent copy from the source source changes on paste object source changes yeah source changes not applied on pasted object or duplicate object. Now, what about reference? So, a duplicate. Same protocol. This is legacy terminology and the same process here in the duplicate level this is mashup terminals duplicate equal to copy plus paste single operation And this is two different operations. Look at this, everyone. Mashup technology, single operation, copy press space creates independent copy, source changes it will not take. What about source changes you want to take? reference what exactly reference will do creates dependent copy of source next one take source changes you want to check guys this is copy paste one right I'll rename into copy and paste. I want duplicate, right click, duplicate. Ready, how many steps available? Four steps, right click, rename. Duplicate, same. If you do something on this, no impact to this. Right click reference. Right click rename reference. How many steps it has? Only one step. What is that step? Source step. Is it okay? One quick question you can ask me, sir. When do we go for which concept? That is important. Listen, when do we go for duplicate? Both are same duplicate and copy paste. So duplicate and reference. Answer. Generic example user selecting values values in a drop down you know about drop down right drop down if you want if you want the values to be changed values to be changed then take reference and place 
take reference and place. So if the parent changes, the values in the drop down will change. The values in the drop down will change. Then what about duplicate? User need an aggregate table based on parent table. Aggregate table based on the parent table. No need of parent changes. Then take duplicate. You will come to know while working with the respective to topic. Don't worry. For the time being, this one. One drop down should be changed account to the parent. And second one, aggregate table, I want to create based on the parent, but change is not required and duplicate. So this is about duplicate, copy, paste, and reference. Online, offline people, ask your questions. Abhishek, Divya, Bonchender, Bharat, Gagan, Harika, Panju, Ravi, any questions? Classroom people, any questions? Are going slow or fast? Or moderate level? Moderate. I go for the next. One, two, three, four, five, six options completed. We'll complete this concept first. Move to group. What is move to group? If number of tables increase, not only tables in this place you see queries list last time we discussed parameters functions many more but how do you classify it for ease of understanding if you want to classify it then go to groups it is just a logical group logical group these are all the dimension tables right i will highlight all the dimension tables right click move to group new group highlight all the dimensions right click move to group new group place it dimensions take always a proper description it has set up dimensions it has set up dimensions <coughs> click ok so dimensions eight these are the dimensions now what about fact table right click move to group new group base fact table fact table underscore base i don't want to change these are copied fact table for practice right click move to group new group fact tables for practice Click OK. So when, once you come to Power Query, you will see like this, so that it is easy for you to operate, easy for you to operate. Understood, everyone? Easy to operate. Right. And I want to close this window. I did a couple of operations. I want to close the window. How do you close? go home close and apply close means simply closing changes not saved apply means changes applied and then yeah changes applied so intermediate really we need to do apply you did three operations apply four operations apply to so that it will save it intermediate saving close and apply it will apply the changes and close 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 and apply i did close and apply Now look at the right hand side part. This is power view, no power query. Right now we're in the power view. Are you able to see any classification here? Because the classification of grouping only in the power query for our comfortability while working in the power query. Man power query la work chase the proof, man easy to choose kon work chair in course, manan this kind of grouping. And they can power view effect kadu. How will affect kadu? Right click on this, transform data. Now you will be able to see.
I go for the next. I'll take this. Take this. What is this? What are these two operations? Could you please read? Enable loading, include report refresh. I will explain. So this is just running notes, but your PDF material having very good content, open and read it. PDF. Enable load. Yeah. If you want to use it in the visual or as intermediate table, then we go for enable loading. You want to use it in the visual or as intermediate table, then we go for enable loading. Disable load, then reverse. Mm. You don't want to use in the visual. B, for the time being, data loading not required. Then we disable the loading. So enable loading for this purpose, disable loading in case you don't want to use. There are many queries, but this query data loading not required. Or this query data loading not required. The reason it is having wrong data. It is having, and if it is having wrong data, we never use in the visual level also. If it is having wrong data, we never use in the visual level. How do you disable it? Right click, uncheck, click continue. Look at the font, how it is looking like. Italic font. This is italic font and this is a normal font. As you disable the loading, it is showing in italic font. Close and apply. Power query level, you disabled it. Power view level, it will not show you. Are you able to see dim course table? Not available. I will go back to power query, transform data, right click, enable load. And one more thing you need to notice. Okay, no problem. When you enable the loading, automatically refresh also available. If data available, refresh supported. Earlier it was disabled. Why? Loading also disable. No loading, no refresh. Loading is there, refresh is there. Now, it's a normal font. Close and apply. Do you have course table? No. You will get it. Course table is ready. Now go back to this transform data. Sir, uh, I understand what is loading. What about refresher? Very, very important. So what is the icon here? Normal font. This one visible in italic. Now, what is refresh? Okay, so taking source changes into Power BI is called as data. A refresh. Refreshing. Two types. A full refresh. Source complete data into Power BI. Recommended when volume is less. Mm -hmm. Data volume is less. This is good. B. 
incremental refresh source required interval data such as two days two weeks something into power bi next recommended when volume is more so refresh two types full refresh in given shall we see the refresh guys this is my course query not course course mode how many modes available so this is column heading online classroom customized one on one pass track available i want to add some more rows in the source level where is the excel file this is our business excel source i will go to course mode i will take here test zone description some test one row i added to source this is my excel source one row added now come to power bi you need to refresh as it is already set to include refresh it support refresh but how it is supporting refresh but how go to home menu refresh home menu in the power query either go to refresh preview or refresh all refresh preview or refresh all your wish you want to refresh only previewed or previewed one means which one you are see which one you are able to see click refresh preview now test zone you got it the source excel data we got in case source is a database database data you receive source is a cube the cube data you will receive this is called as refresh what do you call it refresh next when you go to your prop query these options available completed moving to group also completed so what is move up move down very simple this is in date table it is supposed to be first loaded and it is important to me it is important to me right click move up right click move up this is also for your understanding no impact to report level visual working idantha mana understanding kosame move up lo group lo but report level lo impact undadi last one so create function is okay we'll see in the next session advanced data sorry advanced data i just explained you the query or script generated by the microsoft and this is normal earlier group level properties are given now query level property this is the query what it has you write it this has date and date part values date and date part values ready sir that so only one thing pending here what is that create function what is it okay no problem see this is your course excel sheet from here only we constructed the report if you add one row or if you remove one row automatically the changes take place in the power query level when you refresh for example i removed it test zone i removed it i'm saving this is my source i removed it now go to this power query level still the mode table course mode table showing data it has a refresh with the source click on it refresh preview is it removed remove yes this is full refresh which refresh we discuss what about incremental refresh that we will see later when you have more volumes it is good especially on databases we go for incremental refresh databases 
file level less data not required, but database level compulsory required. And I want to save the changes. Close and apply. File menu, save the application. Close. So power query level, queries properties completed today. So this is the content you need to read it and practice the same. Will you do that? Right. What about your class?